Greetings all, Dana here for Scorpio's Daily Oracle Message. And yeah, that basically describes what my life has been today. I've had such a hard time recording all these because my phone was filling up with data and just would not save things. But, alright. Got a lot of the same cards. And I've been like trying to shuffle and make sure that I'm getting the differences and things are breaking up, but uh, the message is the message no matter how many times you ask for it. So, Scorpio, or not Scorpio, Sagittarius, so sorry, love. Your first message is that of the shapeshifter and perspective. Shifting your perspective is one of the easiest and simplest things to do because the way I've, I've always explained it is like imagining you're sitting in a minivan. And there's the six seats that you have. You got the two in the front, two in the middle, and then a little bench seat in the back. Every seat that you have in that car, they experience a different thing. So if you're sitting like behind the driver's seat, you're included in the conversation up front, but you're also having your own thing going on in the middle, and you have a lot more leisure to look around you. If you're sitting in the back, it's a lot harder to hear the people up front, and the people up front have very little connection to the people in the back because they're so focused on steering the ship and not making sure that we all die. So, like, shifting your perspective, you see different things that you were not able to see before. You understand things that you did not understand before because you see things from a new level. And it is very important to remember that we constantly will shift our perspective. We will constantly shift our mindset, especially if we accept that our spirituality is an ever-evolving process. The conch cell is saying that spirit has answered your call and they are listening to what you have to say. So if you do not hear them, you do not see them in your life, it is time to retreat and go within. Go within yourself, do some, some shadow work, spend some time in nature so that you can hear what spirit is telling you. And in what they're telling you may be that of purging, of releasing that which does not serve your greatest and highest good and giving it back to the mother, creating an altar space to honor your ancestors and your connection to the divine will be helpful because it will become your own sacred channeling space to speak to them. And you can create anything. You can make anything sacred if you put that energy and intention into it. Sea creatures are asking you to immerse yourself in this energy of spirit, in this energy of the greater collective, because an emergence is coming. The winds of change are coming and blowing into your life something that is going to be great, something that is going to be beautiful, and something that will be unlike anything you've ever seen before because you are shifting your perspective. Yes, you're following your true north, and it may look like solitude to some people, but you are never alone because you have spirit. Exactly! You have spirit, the upper world, here to support you. So, Sagittarius, please understand that you will never be alone. The rattle is here to dispel and disperse any upset disturbance in your energy field. And your four-legged friends are reminding you that endurance will help carry you through. Carry you through to what? Restoration. Feathers may be signs and symbols that spirit speaks to you through. And the energy of the earth and the stone people are reminding you that knowing and foundation and balance is the greatest thing that you can have right now. Spirit, you have another message for Sagittarius to heed during this time of change and upheaval. Ah... It's all for your purpose. So like I said, create a sacred space. Go to a sacred space. Create that divine connection between yourself and the higher realms. And it will create such... Yep. Divination. They have things to say to you. They have things to speak to you. They have things to speak through you. So connect with spirit in, your, in the higher realms. And you will strengthen your connection to your divine abilities and your psychic gifts. And that is incredible, Sagittarius. I'm so proud of you for everything that you have done. Have a beautiful day, my love.